Welcome to Cook Your Catch. I'm Blaine Garrett, and today we are going to make seafood stock. The first thing that we are going to do is heat up our pot of water. All right, we're looking for about a medium heat there. The primary ingredient that we are going to use are the shells from the shrimp and the crab and the lobster that we all throw away. So be sure to keep all your shells, throw them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in the freezer, and then pull them out so you can make your very own seafood stock. The other ingredients that we're going to need is one yellow onion, a half a cup of dry white wine, one carrot, one stalk of celery, about 15 whole peppercorns, one bay leaf, a few sprigs of parsley, and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Our water's perfect, it's at a medium heat, it's time to add our shells. Now let's give these shells a quick stir. Just a little tip, you don't need much of a stir. You're just wanting to keep the shells in your pot even. These shells are gonna simmer for about an hour before we add the remaining ingredients. Our shells have been simmering in there for about an hour on a medium heat, and it's time for us to add our ingredients. So let's start with our onions, our carrots, our celery, our tomato paste. Get all that off of there. Okay. Parsley. One bay leaf. And a dozen to 15 whole peppercorns. And a little bit of salt. Last thing, our white wine. We're going to give that a very gentle stir. Let's let that simmer for about 30 more minutes and then it's about ready. So we're gonna spoon out as many of these solids as we possibly can. There's still a few pieces left down in there, but we can get that with the strainer. Okay, we've got two layers of cheesecloth on top of this strainer, and that'll just get the fine stuff. And we're just gonna slowly pour that right over. We're just gonna slowly lift this up, let that drain. Now we're gonna let this cool, and after this cools, we're gonna package it for the freezer, and I'm gonna show you what I do to make sure that it stores in my freezer really easily. That's a little trick I like to use whenever I'm pouring any stock that I make. Put it into a jar. It's never really mess free. I like to fill that up to the top. Try to get as much of that air out of there as you possibly can. Make sure it's good and tight. And then now what you can do is you can lay those flat in your freezer and then after they freeze, you can stand them straight up, you can lay them flat. It's just a really easy way of storing your stock. That's about two and a half cups of stock right there. So there's your seafood stock. I'm Blaine Garrett. This is Cook Your Catch. Thanks for watching.